that surf. Epic. See what the flying's like. So, combination of sloppy soles, round tubing and an extremely wet wing, uncross wind, not giving lift, couldn't quite get up onto the top there. And I think the battery charge might be faulty because these batteries were in charge overnight and yet it's still showing empty. So shut down the camera, have a flight down, head along to the end for the wind directions better. Drop from Condor, going for a quick flight down and then shift along. Go hands free on the launch, battery save for a minute. Just wait until the dog walker's passed. Airspace checks. Dog walkers might throw a ball. Wait until the dog's running. Check. 
and switch along to that end. Okay, time to get the wing dried. Well, it's obviously decided. Well, it's a winter day. It's uh, nice enough weather to come out. Launching! in the scoop at the relatively speaking new houses and then off to see what lift I can get just enough to get nice flights but it's not great at the moment Still hands free, harness control. It's not too bad considering the relative lack of lift. And then go for a tip touch. So step the wrong way. We touch a brake to assist initially. Let it settle and then the brakes go on. Great method for landing on a narrow track on the side of a hill in between gorse bushes. Only thing is if it's going down on the gorse at the last second, loads and loads of brakes to curl it. So instead of it catching in the gorse, it's the top surface curling over. No snags. Right, cup of tea with love it. Love it dot biz back along at the steps in for one last flight some nice raspberry sticks from love it and a few cups of tea and battery flashing warning left right and center so we've still got some very nice surf out in the bay and the wind's much more westerly so we've got to set up across there just the far side of the triangle 90 degree crosswind takeoff, aiming to get down between the steps and fly down. It wasn't so rocky under there, it would be nice for surfing. But uh, you wipe out, you're going to be right on rocks. Not a sandy bottom, bottom there. And the sunset and the tower with the vein. Didn't shot too well on the camera. It swung round so early when I arrived it was showing a pretty good south easterly and as far as I can tell just now that looks much more westerly. So get the wing set up, a we'll quick flight down. <laughs> Tiny wee pouch and the wee curious -y look. Landing, nice uh, skim zoom climb and tip drop take off from up there 
and it's going almost catabatic at the top so probably a wee bit north and the west we one of the hardest physical takeoffs I've done in a long time wings damp you can see the relative humidity Look along there that's uh, probably 99% Uh, still a nice day out mainly exercise I would say probably not done more than about a dozen flights in total and yet up top if you get up there there's a decent enough breeze seagull soaring along and uh, just down at ground level the low level wind swung round Waves still breaking. And you consider this is uh, getting well into November. Very mild. And that's some depth of surf. So most of that is probably from the North Sea. The waves coming in. And big difference in the waves breaking our growth. almost mirror finish between the bridges and just a very very light breeze so maybe one knot all right 